you might not. So I'm going to tell you something that's very, very substantial about me. I'm really short. My whole life people have been like, oh my god, you're so short. How old are you? 14? I'm like, no, 23. But you know what? When I'm 35, I'm going to look like 12. <laughs> Isn't that weird? So I was sat here early and I'm thinking there's got to be a couple of benefits about being really short. I thought I'd let you in on them. Hey, you can go and find me now! So fun hiding in small places. So I can also do stuff like use the laundry basket as a slide or a cosy, comfy thinking space. Oh my god, it's got wheels on and everything. It's actually really comfy in here. Told ya. I can also still get people to do that swingy thing with me. You know, and you hold like arms and you're like, wee! This is so fun! <laughs> Actually, it's really fun. I feel like small things are kind of cute, like old people or pregnant women. Oh, I'm one of those cute pregnant people. <gasps> I can't wait to be pregnant. What else is good about being short? Um, I can throw myself at people without injuring them. I don't use half as much shower gel and the little tiny hand towel fits around my small minuscule body. Oops. <laughs> I love being small. Oh, I know. My friends find me useful when moving house. I can measure spaces with my body of almost five foot. I'd say it's about like five foot maybe? I also think there's great benefits about bagging a bloke. Bagging a bloke? Who am I? Oh, that's nice. Comfortable, babe. Yeah? No, oh, that's nice, you tiny little spoon. My final thing about me and being so short is that I'm less likely to get hit by a bullet about it. Exactly. Now you get me, don't you? Short is good if you don't want to be a model. Then you're screwed. Okay guys, it's time for me to go, but don't forget to come back on Thursday because I'll be making all sorts of mess in my hair and all sorts of fabulous things on my face.